Greetings, and you're watching Septum Sin vs. the World. I'm Septum Sin. Today I am going to do an anime series review. These are farther between because these are long series, and this particular one was 60 episodes long. But I went to it, it was sub only, which also lengthens it because I have to put most of my concentration on it. I like dubs because I can, well, I can actually partially watch these things and uh, still get most of what I want out of it so I can multitask. Hard to multitask in a sub. So today I'm going to be talking about the series Beals Above. So, Beals Above is one that I actually got introduced to um, pretty early on. Um, when I used to do a lot of uh, downloads and a lot of streaming when stuff wasn't before stuff got licensed that was the way you did it back then you know um, if some, you didn't know if something was going to get licensed or not so you found a download source so you could watch it then you hoped that it would actually get a physical release and that was the case here uh, it's pretty simplistic you've got a school filled with delinquents very much like uh, Cromartie High um, and they like to fight all the time and do stupid stuff and this guy here he's a freshman in the school and he is one of the toughest kids in school well he's down fighting by the river when this man comes floating down the river the man literally opens up and a baby comes forth and then the baby gets attached to him so now he's left raising the baby now this is hard enough but the baby is actually the son of the devil and uh, he has sent his infant son to basically be raised by a human and then be ready to destroy all of humanity so that is essentially the whole of Beelzebub the entirety of the plot line goes mostly comedy, 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 then serious, serious, serious. Um, it has a very similar thing to uh, Hitman Reborn as far as the manga goes, where it's a very comedy and centric front end, uh, where it's setting up the characters, uh, getting you interested in the series, and then becomes much more shonen ish, uh, combat oriented towards the rear end of the series. Um, this is a 60 episode series you can get it in two volumes and it's not too terribly expensive and I'll be including of course a link to that below now positives about the series it is actually quite fun I really enjoy it as a shonen series it uh, it plays with a few of the conventions I mean you the main character doesn't even really get started training until later on in the series so that actually tells me that there is something to this. I mean, this actually uh, this actually tackles it a little bit less conventionally, similar to One Piece. You don't really see Luffy go through a lot of training early on, and uh, with this, you don't really see any training until later on in the series when he finally starts coming into things that are more demonic than anything else. I would say the first half of the series is probably the best half of the series because it does uh, it does just really well balancing that comedy with that action and in ways that you might not even expect. The second half of the series gets into more of the demons and fighting the evil demons and saving humanity and uh, you get to see a little bit of a change and a growth w for the characters both Baby Beale and, uh, and Oga you get to actually see them grow as the series continues and that is a big that's a big thing for it I mean really and truly I mean if you've got Goku Goku is pretty much the same from Dragon Ball to the latest episode of Super his personality is the same he really doesn't grow he doesn't change he's just that guy this guy actually does grow personality wise throughout the series and you can see his relationship as far as the uh, baby character you can see that 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 character's personality also changes and you can see the influence between uh, well from Oga and this child the outside characters are also somewhat fun 
um, the uh, traditional type characters. I mean, you've got the uh, the blonde uh, demon servant that comes and uh, and it plays both antagonist and protagonist. You've got the wacky transportation demon. Then you have the best friend who constantly gets crapped on throughout the series. So, speaking of crapped on, let's talk about some of the negatives. I do think that some of the jokes are way overused. They use one particular joke with the best friend and the transportation demon over and over and over again to where you can even predict it as time goes on. I feel like the later half also got a little bit too stereotypical. I feel like uh, some of the changes might not have um, been as fluid as they should have been. Also, I feel like they really rushed the ending. I feel like they had to say, oh crap, we're almost at the end of 60 episodes. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. I feel like there could have been more to it, more fights at the end. You set up a lot of great villains, and then you use them for like five seconds towards the end. But you get to see this as well. I mean, again, that's not enough to detract from the series to where I say it's a bad series. It's more towards that line of read the manga, because that's going to definitely show you a great angle to the series that you weren't getting otherwise. So, ratings. This series is actually a pretty good series, long watch, still only available in sub, but hopefully one day dub. Um, I would still give this about a 7 out of 10. Great solid series, some overused tropes, but if you haven't been an anime fan for long, you won't, you won't even uh, recognize them. And even if you have, some of these tropes are well loved in the shonen community, so it's not so bad. It's a fun series, fairly unique in the way that they execute things. Uh, at least at the beginning, so definitely worth a check out. If you like your Shonen series, and if you liked Cromartie High in, in some aspects, I think that you would actually like this series. So with that, this is Septim Sen, and I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you very much.